Okay, I'm going to talk about truth table in this video, and this is going to be very basic. How to construct the base of the truth table? Well, what is truth table? Truth table is basically being used to analyze Boolean expressions. Well, I can say also truth table is used to analyze whether a compound statement is true or false. Okay, so we get the help of truth table actually to come up with the conclusion or that the statement is true or false if we have bunch of a statement. Now, what is being used? If we see computer field, right? Computer language, programming language, and coding this truth table or Boolean expression is being used a lot. Okay, so let's jump into it. If you have one statement, always there is a two possibility. Let me tell you. So if I'm going to make a statement, I go to college. Right away, another option is going to be I don't go to college. So how many options? Two options. How many cases? Two of two cases basically. So that's what actually we can say. Two cases. Okay, two cases. So that is two cases. One statement, two cases. If I have two statement, it's going to be four cases. If I have three statement, it's going to have eight cases. In other words, one statement means one letter, once letter. If it is two same letter, still is one statement. Okay, and two statement means two variable or two letters. Any letters is going to work. But in you know, in this case, you're going to use PQR. It's easy to you know understand as like as. In variable we say usually x y and z so this is going to be phi q and r but any letter you use is going to be fine actually but in truth table we construct is going to be only true and false okay so two statement or two letter is going to give you four cases three statement or three letters is going to give you eight cases okay so let's take a look on the first one here now this is the base if it is one letter or one statement right one letter or one statement what is the option so 50 percent i go to college it's true I go to college is going to be true I don't go to college is going to be false that is a 50 50 clearly as you see one statement I go to college true I don't go to college is false yeah, exactly so 50 50 so, as you clearly see it's like a negation also like that right now I'm not going to talk about negation in another video I'm going to talk about negation now I'm just constructing the base of the truth table here okay so let's take a look here if I go up down here um, down here so I have basically down here is two letters. Obviously, we learned that is going to give us a four cases. So look at this here, fifty percent line. So fifty percent got to be true. So fifty percent is going to be true. So this one is going to be true. So as this one is going to be true. And remember, this is going to be also half of fifty percent. So we can say, you know what, this is going to be true. That is going to be true, and that is going to be false clearly now this one we say well this is a 50 percent you look into 50 percent but this is going to be false clearly so this is going to be false that is going to be false in other words 50 percent of this one is going to be true 50 percent of this is going to be false same thing here it's just repetition true false true false 25 25 25 25 clearly makes is 100 as you clearly see you know, we're trying to, if we have idea of percentage one, you see clearly, it really makes sense, okay? So, true, false, true, false, clearly, okay? So, 25% here is true, 25% is false, 25% is true, 25% is false. So, that is basically our two letters, four cases. Now, how do we construct three letters okay so as you see it gets a lot of meat on it okay so you're gonna have eight cases guess what 50 percent means what that is gonna be four true four is gonna be true so basically you're gonna have a true you're gonna have a true down here and you're gonna have a true here you're gonna have a true here one two three four so that's already 50 percent okay so you know what i'm gonna finish this column first here so this is gonna be all false 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 clearly so you see four false four true now i'm going to look into that half of 50 percent so let's actually make uh, make sure we understand this one here okay so this is 50 percent now half of 50 percent is just a repetition now two of them is going to be true two of them is going to be false so this is going to be true this is going to be true and that is going to be false that is going to be false and this is going to be false too 
clearly. Now we just do the refutation. So this is going to be true. This is going to be false. Uh, sorry, true. And this is going to be false. That is going to be false. True, true, as you see. Repetition is like if I turn. Now, as you see, that was four true, two true, and one true. Here you go. One true. Clearly, as you see, the next one obviously is false. Now, you just go like this. False, true, false, true, false, true, false. Clearly, as you see down here, right? Okay. So, this is basically the construction or base for the truth table now i want to actually make sure a little bit more understanding here we have if you are still not sure that why we have a two case four case and eight cases okay now if you have taken a probability class earlier try to connect you with yourself here so if i say toss a coin if i say coin right toss a coin toss a coin is going to give you head and tail always that is a two option so clearly look at this here instead of head and tail is true and false that's all this is going to be first time you toss this is the first time now you toss it second time this is going to be also head and tail head and tail so how many options are there actually four options as you clearly see well if you talk about sample size it's basically like this head and head head and tail okay so you know i'm trying to make sure you understand this you know why we having two cases four cases and eight cases now if you look if you try to toss it third time if you toss this third time right look it's going to give you again h so it's giving you eight head and tail head and tail head and tail head and tail as you see it's getting complex as you see of course it is complex three letters is really complex so what we learn here today actually the basis or base constructing the base of truth table and this is just introductory and we must know that one statement is two cases also i want actually uh, end up with something here if i have a fee and negation fee it's a still one cases one case one statement i have I had, you know, I go to college and right away I said, I don't want to go to college. So this is still one letter or one statement. It's going to be always two cases. Okay. All right. Now, if I say, well, capital, and I'm going to make sure that this is a capital right now. Capital. And this is a smaller fee. This is a cap, capital fee. This is small fee. This time is going to be two different letter, two different statement. And this time, therefore, we're going to have four cases here. Okay. So I hope uh, you understand how to construct the base of the truth table. Thank you.